For the CircuitPython Parsec today, I want to show you how you can use the keypad library to use buttons. So anytime you're using a button on a microcontroller, you will run into issues about debouncing. So when you press the button, does it feel like you are pressing it lots and lots of times because there's sort of a little arc going on? Uh, does it continuously spam the fact that it's held down or allow you to release it? So there's a lot of setup that we do. It's not that bad, and we've, we've covered some of that before. Uh, but one of the really nice things about the keypad library designed for keyboards and macro pads and game controllers is that it handles this implicitly under the hood really easily. So all I need to do is import the keypad library, and then I'm going to set up the one button that's built onto this uh, cutie pie here as keypad keys, give it the button pin. This little button here can use, be used as a user pin. Uh, and then tell it which, if it's a pull up or pull down value when pressed. In this case, it's false. Uh, I'm also setting up the NeoPixel so it'll blink. And then you can see here, when I press it, if you look at my uh, code view down at the bottom, it's saying pressed, released, pressed, released, pressed, released. I'm also lighting up the LED. And I'm keeping count there just so you can see it's not getting lots of spurious hits and flying by. It's actually very nice and controlled. Uh, and so the way that I'm reading that in the main loop is just to say, button equals buttons.events get. So that is constantly checking to see has anything changed about the button that we've specified here. If it has, then we check is it pressed or is it released. When it's pressed, I'm typing or printing out the word pressed and the uh, variable there i, which is my counter. And when it's released, it just prints out released and then it'll increment that counter so that we can get a new number the next time we press it. So I'm not having to do any debouncing. I'm not having to create my own states to keep track of things. It all happens right inside of the keypad library. And so that's how you can use the keypad library to make working with buttons plain easy. That's your CircuitPython Parsec.